Look me in my eyes, nigga, I'ma win I'ma get this money, nigga, I'ma live First nigga in my family with some legal bread Had to risk it all just to win big I can stack them hundreds to the roof I ain't stopping till they stack to the moon Nigga, without me, my family wouldn't have food Anybody go against me, gotta lose 90s baby, but I get to that money like 86 again Lost pops and fell off, we back rich again Gotta thank God for that prison bid Music got us looking like the family selling bricks again Been on tour, been on TV, own businesses Still a pull up on you with that stick and flip the whip you in You don't wanna hear Shit, about Michael indictments Martin. in the case I call them bitch quit Listen, Welcome to Shiv This cozy cafe in the, in the middle of this, the town Yeah, it's good um, We are here to talk about your basketball career Experiences um, and I actually have this thing uh, where I start asking you about your first memory of basketball. And that can be maybe a little difficult for you to remember because you started pretty early. Uh, do you remember your yeah. first? Uh, probably, to be honest, I really don't remember it that well, but I do remember my uh, mom had me when she was young. Yeah. She had a. She went to college to play, so then my grandparents would always take me to the games, you know. And I remember my first time there. It was my first time I shot the basket. Okay. I guess it was my first time I ever shooting a basketball. Yeah. It was just like halftime, you know. A little. They had a little play yeah. goal, you know. Halftime performance went over there, just shot around. Yeah. And then just ever since then, just basketball was my yeah. main sport. So your mom played basketball for. Her. Local college. Or, yeah. Yeah. How come Denmark? What What brought you here to the country? Uh, it was kind of always in the plan to come play in Denmark, just because to visit my mom, see my brothers. You know, it'd be a good time to just reconnect. You know, mm -hmm. since I've been there for a while, I haven't seen them in years. You know, I come visit during the summer, but it'd be a good time for me to be around more. You know, be the big brother I always wanted to be, and then see my mom, see my stepdad. So, it's always been the plan to come here, and no matter if other offers were on the table. Just it was always just to come here and be with the family. So your mom lives here. Yeah, yeah. And you're here with the, mm -hmm. your mom and your stepdad, younger sister, stepdad, and yeah. two little brothers, and then my girlfriend. Stayed okay, with us. and you live in Grosstop right now. Yeah. yeah. How is uh, life here? In Denmark and in Wolfpack yeah, in general, compared to to the states, it's different. It's different. It's a little different. I mean, one of the big things I had to get adjusted to was the transportation, the way of life, you know, okay. and then also just coming from a basketball standpoint. I just feel like we're kind of back in the states. We were all together, you know. We all lived right next door, pretty much, you know. That's just typically how it went, and here it's just everyone's so spread out. Everybody has different jobs, hard, you know. And to me, I kind of just miss the, uh, you know, always hanging with each other and just bonding and all that. But when you get here, it's just different because everybody has jobs and lives still, you know. And that's kind of a big, big thing for me to get used to, kind of, to be honest with you. Because I'm used to just hanging out with the team all the time. And that's just a big, it's a major factor for me. First nigga in my family with some legal bread. Had to risk it all just to win big. I can stack them hundreds to the roof. I ain't stopping till they stack to the moon. Nigga, without me, my family wouldn't have food. Anybody go against me, gotta lose. 700k in here, and my bag in this room But it's only for your eyes, while your man's in this room I don't know if he a snitch, now it's blood on your hands If you think I'm about Why to do you think it is like that in Denmark? Yeah, it's because of the coaching culture? I mean, we see uh, the coaching side we, It's only basically Wolfpack and Stellenstead who has Danish coaches mm -hmm. uh, The rest has uh, Yugoslavian coaches and, and, and American coaches basically and why do you think there's that big a difference between Denmark and the States in, 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 bas in those basketball areas? The difference to me, I think, would be how you were brought up playing the game, to be honest. So it's a cultural thing. Kind of, maybe, yeah. I see it as a cultural thing. Because we got, back in the States, you, you start younger, we play five on five, so there's none of this three on three or uh equal subs and all this stuff back in the states we just got to this. even from a young age it's five on five big baskets you know and from there i think you might just keep 
when you keep progressing, when you're younger, you get, I don't even know how to explain it, to be honest with you. It's just like... <laughs> Culture can be a difficult thing to explain yeah, sometimes. Yeah, it's just the way you're brought up playing the game. Okay. Like more. So it's not maybe as much as what's happening in the gym, but, but it's also what happens when you are having your day off from school or something yeah. like that, and go, going outside playing. Uh, we don't have that in the same level in Denmark, right? yeah. uh, where people meet and, and competing in, mm -hmm. in, in, in basically in the spare time, the free time, uh, uh, at a high level. We, we don't see that here in Denmark. Yeah, in not way. really. That could be a part of it. That's actually a big, yes. yeah. We, when you said that, yeah, it's a big. Because yeah. we have open gyms where we have, like as you mentioned, Perry, Buddy Hill, the other NBA players that come and just play pickup, you know? And that was actually, you know, made it a lot better, made it challenge yourself, all yeah. types of stuff like that. So that was good. Is that something, is, are you missing that kind of competition in Danish basketball, or uh, is that great? I mean, how do you see it? I miss it. You miss it. I miss it. It's just hard for me to adjust here, kind of. I mean, last year I didn't. I only played two games, so it was kind of hard for me to adjust sitting out. And then brand new year, pretty much starting over from scraps. So I have to adjust, you know, everything. But I think right now the way we're, the way I'm going, and the way our team's going right now, it's just. I think we're kind of getting there right now. And these short little practices we've had, we're getting there right now, and you can see it now. And you can see some of us chipping at each other, you know, getting more. And I like that, you know, mm. sit there, clap, like, yeah, let's, you know, that's what I like. And I miss it. And that's when I play my best, to be honest with you. You were also a coach in, in Belarus when you were teaching young kids. Um, how do you see the kids in Belarus compared to what you come from in, 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 the, in the States? Um... Is there a different level? Or? Like as I said before, like, it is hard because usually they're already introduced to basketball at a very young age. In the States. In the States. Yeah. So if that's like your sport you want to play or whatever, you start early and then you already know most of the fundamentals, all this stuff when you're going up to you try to play little leagues and stuff, you know, when you get older and older. And here it's just a little different because they just second guess they don't know if they want to play or you know and some of them don't really know the game of basketball so you have to be patient and explain that to them so it's just different because back home we already have that upbringing we already know what to do what to because we focused on that you know here's just like a bunch of possibilities kids want to play football they want to play basketball and they just don't know make up their minds so it's kind of tough but other than that it's good they get to learn from an American, not just somebody just around Denmark, you know, see how it is back there, what they want to do. And we murdering that man when they put them teddy bears on the curve for your ass, you lost. Look me in my eyes, nigga, I'm a win. I'm gonna get this money, nigga, I'm gonna live. First nigga in my family with some legal bread. Had to risk it all just to win big. I can stack them hundreds to the roof. I ain't stopping till they stack to the moon. Nigga, without me, my family wouldn't have food. Anybody go against me, gotta lose. Seven hundred K in here, and my bag in this room. But it's only Let's talk a little about the team, Wolfpack team. Uh, just recently, you uh, got a new coach, Thomas Kerr. Mm -hmm. uh, how have the, has uh, you and, and, and the team reacted on changing the coach uh, at such a crucial time, just before uh, Pokal's in the final and, and, and in the middle of the season, basically? I mean, it came as a shocker. We didn't expect really that to happen that quick, you know. Uh, for me personally, I just it sucked it had to happen that way, you know. He's a good guy, whatever. But then again, just wasn't the outcome some of the other players were looking for. So now we got our new coach. Our new coach brings energy. You could see the difference on people's faces when they walk in the gym. It's more fun, more energetic, and I think that's that's a good step in the right like in the right direction. And Thomas is a good guy, great guy, interacts, jokes, talks, which is good, and tries to build chemistry with all of us. And I think that's a good thing. So the spirit has mm -hmm. changed for the team. Yeah. yeah. 
What is cool fact missing at the moment? For my eyes, we're missing some art a little bit in my eyes, and then some discipline. Other than that, our I think our effort's good. If we just put more heart into the effort, then it'd be even better. And we wouldn't be at the very bottom because we've had some close games. But then we just let up, and that's when we put our heads down, and that's when we don't have any heart anymore, and that's when they just start running away with it. So usually the games, too, were blowouts. Some of them are actually pretty good, maybe the first two quarters. But after that, reality starts to hit, and heads start to hang, and people are unhappy with everything. So. And how do you see yourself into this Wolfpack team right now? How do you, you contribute uh, to the team? Uh, to me, one of my major things, how I contribute to the team would be, honestly, maybe my defense. Because growing up, defense, when I taught defense, wins games. And so my major thing right now that I can see on this team that I do a pretty good job at and that they like is my defense. And if I play defense, hopefully that inspires somebody else to play defense. And that's where that more heart comes in, leads to more effort. And, you know, that's how we could probably win a couple more games mm -hmm. instead of just focusing on one side of the floor, mm -hmm. just play our defense. Recently, Luciano de Souza joined the team. How do you see him uh, helping the team right now? Uh, Luciano could help the team in a lot of ways. We were missing a lot of big guys. or We needed somebody that was actually kind of big and physical yeah. in there. And he, he fit that bill. And he also can shoot, which he can stretch out the other bigs, which is a big plus. And then him coming from Stenskeld and me coming from Stenskeld, you know, like, that just shows, like, we're ready to play. We're, it doesn't matter the circumstance, ready to play. And he has heart. And he, you can see that even in locker rooms and everything. You can see, like, he's doing it for the love of the game. And that's what we need. So you think you benefit from knowing him from Stenskeld? Right now. I didn't. I didn't know him from no, Stenskeld. No. Just the circumstance is kind of yeah. what I was in the same circumstance, and I can see where he's coming from. And I understand. It. Yeah, he's a good player, and you definitely need him. Yeah. The team's uh, two next games are pretty cru crucial right now for the season. Uh, the first game is against Rannis, uh, an away game, and, and if you win that one, uh, it will mean that we have contact with the fifth and sixth uh, spot in, in, in the league. And the next game is a semi-final cup against the uh, Iba in in in, also, in, in Aarhus. Um, how have you, the team, yourself, prepared for those two games here? In, in you've had a break, a long break. Uh, it's actually kind of difficult. We've only had maybe two practices with the new coach, and right now we're just trying to change up a couple of things and make us better. And right now, all we're focusing on is just making sure we have our things down. You know, we just got the new coach and everything. We want to make sure. So right now we're just doing step by step. But today we just, or this week's just been transition. We're just trying to perfect our craft and transition, and then move into defense. And we're just gonna go step by step, and hopefully, what we've learned by then will transfer over to the games, and we'll see how that goes. And a win in the semifinal win. game. Yeah. How will that affect the team? You think? That'll be. That'll be good, mm -hmm. knowing that we were at the bottom, had some tough games, some tough losses, and then to the fact that we could make it to the championship game would be, I don't know, uplift our spirits pretty high, you know, especially if we come after a win with Randers, beat Eva, and win a championship, that's just going to make us feel a lot better about ourselves, more relaxed, more relieved, you know, not stressed. Plus I get 34 so, so I'ma make it back. Used to order Wendy fries, bring a steak with that. Nice Benny Hunter rice, put some steak on that. The Mustang used to always run out of gas. Now I'm in that race, touch the paint and it's a body bag, nigga. Look me in my eyes, nigga, I'ma win. I'ma get this money, nigga, I'ma live. First nigga in my family with some legal bread. Had to risk it all just to win big. I can stack them hundreds to the roof. I ain't stopping till they stack to the moon. Nigga, without me, my people wouldn't have food. Anybody go against me, gotta lose. I wanna see niggas win, but everybody you can't eat around. Some niggas I wouldn't even go to sleep around. They had to